Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction, or read through really, I guess that's what I usually call these, <laughs> my read through for chapter 15 of Elf Song with Yasserara and I, and um, this one's Appointment 15 Snow Dragon Part 1, so I'm excited. I'm excited because we get a wintery episode and I love wintery stuff. Uh, also excited, just because it's Elf Song, but that's not what I was going to say. Excited because Snow Dragon, are we going to get a scaly waifu? That might be nice. Um, so yeah, either way, I'm really excited. Let's get into reading. Of course, you all know by this point that I'm a complete and utter fanboy for this um, manga. And uh, yeah, it it really is something where I really love reading it and enjoy it every single month. And I think it's really, really funny. So uh, either way, let's get into reading. Uh, thank you for making it so popular. A second printing of the second volume is in the works. Uh, Sinekdosh. Appointment 15, Snow Dragon Part 1. Quit whining. Er, sorry, reading the wrong way. Just got finished reading uh, Tower of God before this, so I'm all mixed up. Uh, oh, come on. Why today of all days? Quit whining. We have to stick to the routine. Whether rain or snow, we go walking. Do you only get motivated to exercise when it snows? And we have Edufura and Kuroeda together. I love them together. So cute. Cute and thick waifus. I don't see anyone else walking around in this weather. Why did you invite me to begin with? The snow won't stop anytime soon. I was worried that you staying indoors would make that giant black pearl you call an ass grow even larger. I'm doing you a kindness. I didn't hear a thank you, she says, turning back and gets pelted with a snowball. <laughs> so cute. Huh? What are you doing, black dharma ass? Ow. Is your brain clogged up with french fries, you fat, you fla- you <laughs> french fries and fat, you flabby elf? I should call you Flabelf for short. St- Stop! Yeah! And Kudoida still just pelting her with snowballs. <laughs> and her ass is sticking out of the snow. Hm, <laughs> how pathetic. Mufufu. Now you're really going to get it. Ice magic twin blizzard contains pebbles. <laughs> oh, it contains pebbles. Yeah! I've got something to really make those cheeks swell. Take this! And then she grabs something. Ada, what's buried here? Scoot away to looking down. There's a person's face. Yeah! Pah, what's going on? Says Hedufuda finally just popping out of the snow. The, there's a person buried in there. What? We gotta help them. Looks like they're still alive. Great. Let's bring them to human's house. I'll carry them. I love just go to human with it. Human's not here, is he? No, he's at work. Okay, she's here. Now what? For now, we need to get her out of those wet clothes so she can warm up. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's borrow human's clothes. Ah, this underwear has a hole in the front. Jeez, I didn't expect the human to have such cl shabby clothing. Should I sew it? Okay, I'm ready over here. What's taking you so long? Shut up! Stripping someone who's soaked is difficult! Could you give me a hand here? There's just no helping this one. And then they're trying to pull the clothes off. Hey, don't be so rough. And lewd, they pull the clothes off. And she doesn't have scales, but she does have a tail. And, f and face scales. And horns. Sh jeez it couldn't be. A dragon? Right. Yeah, why was the dragon of all things buried there in the snow? Actually, why is she still passed out? Can we dress her now? Okay, yeah. And then she wakes up. And she does sit-ups? She just busted out of sit-ups. <laughs> and we're not looking surprised. <laughs> Strength training right after waking up is bad for you, you know? Says <laughs> Kuroida. And the dragon looks around. Damn it. She has very. I just noticed how big her eyes are. You damn elves. Where are we? What are you up to? Is she talking directly into our minds? Says <laughs> Herifuda. Dragons are beings that wield hi higher dimensional magic. Telepathy should be child's. Telepathy should be child's, child's play for them. I want to eat meat. I want to lose weight. I want to eat meat. I want to eat. She can't stop her thoughts from pouring out. Hey, why were you buried in the snow? In the snow. Every time I go walking after lunch, I get hit by a sudden attack of drowsiness. 
and then I can't remember what happened after I wake up. So why would you walk around in the snow in the first place? Come on, to lose weight, right? To lose weight, says the dragon backing up at Ufuda. Okay, I get it. But to think that even dragons are turning to fla flavins, this world is truly terrifying. Why you, what's the deal with these girls? But you're pretty short for a dragon, and she's only like chest height on Edifuda. Don't be rude to me, I'm hungry. Don't make her angry, says Kuroeda. What? Don't you know anything about dragons and treasure? I know, these guys are guarding piles of it. I'll let go. That's right, but the ones who can obtain the treasure are either those... Wait, the ones who can obtain the treasure are either those who slay the dragons or those who befriend dragons. So what's your plan? What, are you stupid? We'll have the human help the dragon lose weight, and if she likes us, we can split it. I'm not stupid, says Edifuda. I want to get that treasure so I can work fewer shifts at the convenience store. If we get the treasure, you won't have to work at all. Are you really that much of a worker, B? Says Edifuda. And there's no way the human can ignore a dragon in need. It's like killing two dragons with one stone. I want to eat meat, says the dragon still. I'm not really interested in the treasure, but with that loot, I can buy all the fries I want. Let's do it. Hey, dragon, you want to get skinny? Why are, you, why are they offering me help all of a sudden? I do want to lose weight, but there's a man who can grant you that wish. What? Who is he? They call him the Dragon Slender. And <laughs> we have um, this armored version of Naue. And I think that's the end, actually. Yeah, it is. So part one. We have a shorter one than usual. That's cool though. I kind of like the new dragon. We don't have a name for her yet. Her design? Eh, I don't know. I kind of wish it was more dragon-like. Not really much into the horns. Her eyes are weirdly huge. I don't know. I think it'll grow on me, I guess. Mostly we didn't really see many panels of her in like a normal drawn state. Uh, it's mostly w it mostly was like all chibi and whatnot, so uh, there's that too. But either way, I like it. We get a new character. I'm always happy getting a new character. So uh, yeah, guess that's it. Very quick one this week um, because it was shorter than usual. So like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it, and all that. Um, Subscribe for more, El Salma and I, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want, I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. If you want a link to our Discord server to talk to me or more of us there, then I uh, just ask and I can give you a link to that. But that's it, so uh, thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.